I got a MySpace message. It was from a stranger, which I normally just always ignored them. I'd never responded to a stranger before. But this person sent me a paragraph. They sounded like they were, like they wrote in a way that was familiar to me. Like they sounded like a friend, like someone I knew. This person and I ended up talking on the phone and we met one time. We met a second time at my RV and he raped me that night. I just felt worthless, just um, completely devalued and filthy. Like you couldn't, there wasn't enough soap in the world to like make me feel clean. A few weeks later, I went to Walgreens and I took a pregnancy test in the bathroom at Walgreens and it was positive. And I just sat there because what do you do? What do you, how can you possibly mentally, emotionally wrap your mind around something that you have no idea how it's gonna change your life and your world? And I had to hear from God. I had to, I could not survive without him giving me some word of encouragement, I guess. I just needed him to speak to me, and he did. I knew it wasn't God's will for me to be raped. I knew that wasn't his plan for me. I knew it crushed him more than it even crushed me. But I also knew that life is never an accident, that babies aren't just accidents. They are created by God. I don't regret for one second choosing life for my daughter. She has made my life so beautiful. I had never felt that amount of love. I never felt that capacity of love. It is, it is a crazy love. She just is a symbol of hope and inspiration and what God can do if you let him. I mean, she adds so much life to our family, to any situation she's in. She is so full of life. That's what everyone says. She's so full of life. The scripture, the story where Jesus is hanging on the cross and he says, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Um, that scripture comes to mind and came to mind a lot during the process. This man, he's a rapist, but he's also made in God's image. God also sent his son to die for him. He's a sinner. I'm a sinner. How can you not forgive? Not to say that it's easy, but how could you not? I mean, how am I... How am I in a place to not forgive? I've sinned. In my own personal story, God was always there. Always. He's bigger and smarter than the enemy and more loving than we can even comprehend. His goodness, his fingerprints have been all over my life and my story and my journey. <laughs>